Uh, status update number three. It's gotta be the shoes, and Ron Artest would agree with me. So we know he's gone from Meta World Peace to Panda's friend, and now the friend of the panda has come out with some shoes featuring a Chinese panda on them. And it was originally reported that the top part of the shoe with the panda was removable and he would be throwing it to a friend in the crowd. That person who catches the panda will be the panda's friend of the day. That is what Ron Artest said, not me. I'm just reacting to what he said. I mean, what? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, our test has since clarified saying the bear is not detachable. The teddy bear is a permanent, is a permanent, that's what he wrote, and is the panda's friend. The ears on the side are also not detachable. Enjoy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what's on those shoes. They're cute. They look like a four year old should be wearing like them to those preschool. slippers, yeah. You know, remember those slippers that are like in the shapes of animals? Yes, they yeah. do look like slippers. And he's just going to be running around in a court. And he's like enormous with pandas on his feet. The whole thing's just so weird. The book is going to be amazing, isn't it? When, it? when it all settles down and someone gets to pick his brain for a few hours, I mean, it is going to be amazing. When he shows up to a basketball game in one of those full-on panda hats that like go down to like your thigh, yes, you yes, know he's yes. gone officially mad. With nothing underneath it. Exactly, with, with nothing underneath it. Uh, speaking of NBA players in their shoes, here's the latest from Dwayne Wade. His Dexter sneakers feature blood splatter, similar to how the TV show Dexter is built around a blood splatter analyst who worked in Miami at the police department, which of course is where D-Wade plays in real life. What do you think about these, Kahai? I'm kind of torn <laughs> on whether they're A, appropriate, and B, cool. I, I don't really know. Highly inappropriate would be the correct answer. <laughs> Highly inappropriate, but I kind of like the splatter put, effect. It's kind of cool. Put that in with the, you saw the Urban Outfitters thing from yeah, last week with that Kent State. Bad. It's just like, there's just certain things that people shouldn't have. Yeah, that the, the blood splatter has gone too far. Northwestern did it on the uniforms. I didn't like it there. Then the Urban Outfitters with the Kent State thing, and now this. I mean, and why blood? 